1970, six years after MGS3 in Columbia, Fox has gone rogue, much how like Foxhound did, by breaking off connections with the CIA. Big Boss is captured and tortured by Lieutenant Cunningham, trying to find the location of the second half of the Philosopher's Legacy, since the first half was taken from the US government. Imprisoned, he meets with Roy Campbell, a survival of the American Green Berets to investigate Fox. The two escape trying to contact Major Zero, and instead get a hold of Paramedic and Sickent. They explain Zero and Snake are being charged for treason, and must prove their innocence, and must capture Fox's new leader, Gene. Jean, a part of the successor project, which builds perfect soldiers based on role models, Jean was built to be the ultimate battlefield commander, alongside his Elise and Ursula, both psychic twins who he trained himself, Elise to a major in science, and the other as a pure warrior. Null, aka Grey Fox, was taken by Jean as well to be a part of the perfect soldier project within the successor project, being able to kill without remorse. From the successor project, Jean has the power to control anyone with the power of his voice if their willpower is not strong enough. With this, he assembled a military from the former Red Army unit to establish his own territory. Snake and Campbell must build their own army to take his down. Reaching into the base, Snake encounters Python, a Vietnam partner and trusted friend. During Vietnam, Python underwent an injury where he couldn't control his body heat anymore and is placed in a frozen suit. The CIA has assigned Python as an anti-snake in case the CIA ever lost control of Big Boss. Snake kills Python and continues the mission encountering Null. Big Boss remembers Fank Yeager on the battlefield of Mozambique, where he was still a child soldier. Big Boss stopped him from the fighting and placed him to a rehab center hoping he would be safe. Sadly, he wasn't. Big Boss defeats him and helps him get into a hospital again to get his life back on track. Reaching the airport, finding Metal Gear Roxa to only discover is only a prototype, and the real one will be shortly rocketed off in space, then land to the US and fire nuclear missiles. Gene awakens Elisa and Ursula, whereas they are actually the same person, and fuse together to take control of Roxa through telepathy. Sokolov busts in, saying he was forced to help create Roxa. And that's about it. Destroying Roxa, Cunningham is working for the Pentagon and wants Snake to push Gene into launching a nuke into Russia to tarnish the CIA's reputation and prolong the Cold War. Snake kills Cunningham and heads to Gene's headquarters. Gene is prepping the real Roxa launch and tells that he plans to create a world called Army's Heaven, controlling the world through an armed force. Big Boss then makes a joke that all of his soldiers will be outside of his heaven. Elisa slash Ursula comes back to life to tell Snake of his future, then is shortly murdered by Gene. Snake kills Gene only to find out that Snake Eater was a setup, which is revealed in Peace Walker as Coldman. Gene leaves Snake's a microfilm containing all of the info and funding for his Army's Heavens project, since he believes Snake is just like him, and that he inherited his memes to be loyal to himself. With Roxa launching, Sokolov tells Snake it could be simply destroyed with enough manpower, gathering all of his men along with Gene's army to destroy the nuke while it's in space. Snake and Campbell go home to the US. Then Snake says that he needs to find his own reason to fight, and reunites with the original Fox team, soon to be the Patriots. Credits roll, the end. Almost. Ocelot meets up with Mr. Director from the end of Snake Eater, heading to the bomb shelter underneath the Pentagon, prepping for the expected nuke in order to protect the information of the Patriots. Ocelot kills the Director, and takes the information. If you like this, feel free to check out my other stuff. Uh, I usually focus on Metal Gear stuff, uh, some Killzone stuff, and uh, just in general some drunk let's playing. I don't really focus on everything, it's just I just do whatever I can do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a guy making things, so it'll be, it'll be really helpful.